I'm here because I am a roaring lion crying out righteousness. If I'm correct, I haven't seen a lot of this on the news this morning, but D.A. Alvin Bragg has called for the grand jury that's hearing the Hushmany case uh, to sit again today. I haven't seen a lot of this, but at last I heard on Monday that they would be sitting again today. David Pecka, the former CEO of the National Enquirer, testified before the grand jury as a, I suppose, a rebuttal to Robert Costello, an attorney on behalf of Trump that excoriated uh, Michael Cohen. Um, that So I don't know if that was in the rebuttal or what that was all about. Uh, but I, I can tell you this, that the... Uh, the the indictment process looks to me weak. Now, I think there's going to be an indictment. I could be wrong. I, I think there's going to be an indictment that D.A. Bragg is going to. But if you ask me, if, if, if you don't mind, I don't want to inflict myself upon you in any way whatsoever. But I believe the indictment is going to be very weak. And I, I, quite frankly, that if it goes to trial, it's going to be a, a fiasco. Uh, and, and I, you know, I'm not saying I'm not here saying that Trump did not, you know, have sexual intercourse with Stephanie Crawford or Stormy Daniels, whatever her name is. I'm not saying that. I just think the indictment is going to be weak. Um, and the fact that he has waited so long now to drop the indictment, I think, has even made it even weaker. You know, there's an old proverb that says he who hesitates is lost. But I, I think there might be one and there might not be. In a way, this weekend, you know, uh, Trump retweeted a tweet uh, about him standing with a baseball bat, standing behind Alvin Bragg, getting ready to crack his head open like a watermelon. And New York Post put it up in the front page on that their, 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 their page. Uh, as you can see there now in the lower section, there's, there's Trump with a baseball bat. And obviously that is what they do. They, they, they make that work because it's not a real picture. Uh, and then he's standing right behind Bragg, getting ready to, you know, drop a, Hit him in the head. That it, that has been all over the news of of late. Trump did not create that uh, that particular tweet, but it said he retweeted it, and then later on when they discovered what it was, he took it down. So, uh, but Bragg has now stepped into the limelight. He's now become an adversary of tribulation Trump, and uh, so we're going to see how this whole thing. Uh, goes along in terms of whether there be an indictment or not. We're in a very difficult time. And I can tell you this, you may think that perhaps I am you know, promoting and praising my own pawn, which I should do. But you're not going to get the truth from Fox News. Now, you know, when O'Reilly was on Fox News, and even I've been on Fox News, Sean Hannity, uh, I, I, I thought the world of Fox, but the last few years, they have they have become a bohemian. They become a monster as the largest. I mean, they are the most powerful cable news work in history. They got an audience. Let me tell you, they got an audience that will choke an elephant. They got it. And they got it because of Trump. Well, they started with it, getting that audience through Obama, but Fox News became a the biggest, most powerful news outlet on planet Earth because of Trump. And so when you look at it and say, well, why are they still supporting him? And there are a lot of reports out there that said that they think it's crazy, they don't like him, they hate him, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But he has made them. Trump, who is a, you know, who is a very charismatic person and uh, interesting to watch and listen to, whether you agree with him or not has made Fox News. He made them. Because they were not that big, but CNN was out there. CNN was a flagship. CNN can't hold a candle. But Trump made Fox News. So as a result of that, they've got to do, they got to keep Fox, they got to keep Trump happy. Otherwise, they can lose all that power that they got and all that money writing them great big checks that they're writing. So, so I don't watch Fox News very much because, you know, I realize what the, I know what the game is. I, you know, you, you don't, don't run a game on me. That's what Fox is doing to run the game on his people. But they need Trump. And, I mean, um, you know, ethically, no, it's not right. Morally, it's not right. But quite frankly, they need to propose. He, he has made them the biggest, baddest thing in ever cable, in any cable news in the history of the world. They need him. 
They need him. So should they do his bidding? If they don't, they're going back to zero. So you need to understand. So, I, you know, I, I turn them on every now and then. I watch Tucker and Hannity every now and then. But I realize, uh, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, getting, I'm, I'm, I'm getting something that ain't, you know, ain't good for the goose. Uh, but, you know, but, I, but so what we got now with Trump and, and D.A., Trump is back in the news now, and he was on Sean Hannity Monday night. And Sean's up knee to knee talking to him like he's a real friend, that they've been friends for a long time. We know that ain't true. But the other thing is that what's happening with Eric, Gar Merrick, Eric? <laughs> what's happening with Merrick Garland, who is the, uh, the attorney general? He hasn't dropped any charges yet. Yeah, they brought that boy over there in the Norwegian country. They're running over there checking out uh, war crimes and brought Jack Smith over here. And we still haven't heard anything from what he's going to do. I think it's going to be very difficult. But it's going, to be, it's going to happen, and at that time, we're going to have to go into uh, civil war mode. It's coming. It's coming, my brothers. It's coming. And, uh, but Merrick Garland understands the politics of this. Now you got this attorney general down there from the district of Fulton County down in Atlanta, Georgia, who also got her eyes on, you know, and, and indicting Trump. And I think she's going to do it. But our case can be weak as well. And I think they're trying to, you know, it's, you know, I'm, I say I don't have a dog in this fight. I don't watch Fox News because I think they, you know, they kiss it up to Trump. They have to. They better kiss up to him. He's their bread and butter. They can't stay away from Trump, Fox News. So, you know, I, I, I you know, I'm a big boy. You know, I, you know, I can you don't play me like that. So, I, you know, but the the thing about it, I think is is that this is going to be, if you will, this has got to happen. And Fannie Willis is going to bring charges, and it's going to be very weak. Um, the, uh, but I, I, I'm convinced that we've not seen, we, we have not seen the worst of what's going to happen as a result of all this. And then, of course, the liberal media is out there promoting Ron DeSantis, that boy from down in Florida, you know, Mr. Woke, Mr. Anti-Woke guy. And he's right to be anti-woke. I support you on that. Uh, DeSantis, I support you. I support Ron DeSantis on Don't Say Gay. Now, I ain't voting for him. I said, I said I'll go vote for him. But I agree with that. I think there need to be more voices out there saying, you know, and, and don't say gay and anti-woke. I think there need to be more voices out there. This All this denial of the presence of God and running around here by these black people. Every turn, at time you turn around, they got something else black to prove. Every time you turn around, I thought Dr. King's dream was, uh, you know, was to cast me out. That didn't stop. Everywhere you look now, they got something else they got to prove. Woke, critical race theory, black lives matter. All everywhere, black president, black, everywhere you throw a stone or shake a stick, black people got something to prove. They're going to come up with something. To, after woke, they're going to come up with something else. So, but they're out there promoting Ron DeSantis. I, I mean, they are promoting him because they don't like, not because they like him. They're promoting him because they want to see him beat Donald Trump. But, you know, I, 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 I go along with what he said. Listen, I, you know, I figured I'd say those things that you thought you wanted to know. And I go ahead and tell you, probably the only place you're going to get real truth going to be mixed with a lot of spirituality, mixed with a lot of biblical prophecy. But if you want to get truth and you don't want to be played, you don't want somebody to run a game on you, you need to listen, you need to, listen to the Manning Report, the pulpit of power, and the trust in the Lord hour. Now, you may not like me, you know, so, well, you know, when you were on Alex Jones, I thought you were good, and we were against Obama, I was all for you. You were my number one, you know, but uh, since you ain't for Trump, I, but I'm going to tell you something now. Now, I'm going to talk to you. I think I'll talk to you, because you'll listen. I think I'll talk to you, you know. I'm just remaining steadfast to the truth. And uh, you, if you, you, go, you listen to Fox News, you're, you're going to get played. You, if you listen to Fox News, you're going to get played, you're going to get hood, hood, you're going to get bamboozled, you're going to get hung out to dry if you listen to Fox. And not that I'm against Trudy Trump. You know, so I think it's important for us and for me to say that to you, the Manning Report. He said, Pastor Manning, you don't have the facility to bring us all the news that we need. No, but I can bring you enough to, to keep you out of trouble. That's the thing that you want to be able to do. Praise Almighty God. All right, everybody, you listen to the Manning Report.